Welcome to our Bible story time for Compassion Camp again. I am Pastor Alex, and I'm excited to tell you another story about compassion. As you remember, compassion is when we see people's hurts, feel their hurts, and help ease their hurt. When we say, I am compassionate, we say, I see your hurt, I feel your hurt, and I help ease your hurt. Today, I have a story about compassion to the neighbor. It's called the parable of the Samaritan. Jesus was asked in this parable, who is my neighbor? And I want you to pay close attention as I read this story to moments of compassion that you notice. And anytime you notice yourself feeling compassionate for people in the story. When do you feel or see their hurts? Let's read the story. Someone who had studied all God's laws came to Jesus with a question. Teacher, he said, what do I need to know to do to know the fullness of life forever? Jesus answered that question with another question. You've studied, right? What have you learned? What do the books say about knowing the fullness of life forever? The man answered, The books say to love with all that we have and with all that we are. To love God with our whole hearts, our souls, our minds, and our strengths, all our thoughts and our wonderings. And to love our neighbors with the same kind of care that we show to ourselves. That's it, Jesus said. Love like that, and you will know the fullest life imaginable. But wait, the man said, not ready to be done with the conversation. Who counts as my neighbor? To answer his question, Jesus told him a story. He said, a traveler was on his way from Jerusalem to Jericho when thieves attacked him. They beat him up, took his clothes, and left him by the side of the road. He was so badly hurt that he might have died. Other people came down that road too and saw him. First came a religious leader, like a pastor. And when he got close enough to see the injured man, he crossed to the other side of the road. Then came another person, someone known for being holy, for being like God, for following the laws. That person also got close enough to see the injured man's pain but not close enough to help. Then a Samaritan came by, a man who most of the people along that road would have despised and hated and viewed as an enemy because of old troubles between their communities. But when that Samaritan, who was supposedly an enemy, saw a man in such pain, he felt pain too. He came closer he treated the man's wounds and wrapped them in bandages. He lifted the man onto his own animal and took him to an inn where he could stay the night. He paid the innkeeper and said, Take good care of this man. If it costs more than what I'm giving you right now, I'll pay you the rest when I come back through. Jesus paused and asked the people that were listening, What do you think? Which of these three was a neighbor to the man who was attacked. The man who had asked Jesus the question in the first place said, the one who showed compassion. Jesus said to him, you should do the same. Thanks for sharing with our story time today.